Hello, if you watched my previous video of Hit 8, you would know that I said that I would be making more updates to the game development process, and that's why I made this video. Now, if you watched the previous video, you would know that the score wasn't too well. The score would shoot up way too high when you hit an arrow, and it just made the game really easier to get a high score. Well, right after I uploaded that video, I started working towards that to fix it, and I actually did. And another thing that I work towards, um, if you're a programmer of C++, you would know that C++ has object-oriented programming, which is like the use of classes and stuff like that. Well, when I first started um, programming this game, I didn't really turn toward um, object-oriented programming because I didn't think, you know, I would work on this game that much. But I end up doing that, and I hit a snag in um, the development because I realized that it would be a lot easier to um, make an arrow class, that way I can add more arrows and stuff like that. So, I actually did work towards that, and it was actually a success. So, I'm pretty proud of myself for that. And um, I'm going to show you the game right now, and I'm going to show you the updates. Now, before I start um, playing, I realized that um, the player isn't going to be looking at the score the whole time because they're going to be paying attention to where the arrow is directing. So, I made it to where when you hit an arrow, it's going to change the red, like that, indicating that you already hit it. So, you know, I figured that was pretty wise. And when I hit the score 1000, you're going to see the use of multiple arrows. And there we go. Now, one thing that I didn't realize, I mean, didn't expect to work as well as it is right now, is that you actually get a score for each arrow when you hit them. I actually thought that it wasn't going to work on the first build, but it did. And also, if you watched my previous video, um, I said that the level was basically for show. But as of now, I decided to make it to where the level is just the amount of errors that you have on your screen. That's basically all I have for updates, and I will be making more videos, as I said before, and I hope you like this.